I get asked a lot about different books and podcasts and other forms of media that I would recommend to Twitch streamers. So in this video, we're going to talk about my top three books that I actually recommend for streamers to read, but this actually isn't one of them. This is just one I'm using for a prop. It's going to look good for the thumbnail though. What's up guys, it's Ashley Christ and welcome back to my channel where I teach you to pursue your dreams and learn to stream. So reading is actually super important to me. It's something that a lot of my knowledge has actually come from. I have been relentlessly studying things like marketing and networking and just all of these buzzwords, right? I'm not really a huge fan of the buzzwords themselves, but I've been relentlessly studying these things for years through books and podcasts and shows and just anything that I can get my hands on. So books are very, very important. They're a big part of the process for growing a stream, in my opinion, and I feel like there is a lot of opportunity for streamers to invest more time in reading business and entrepreneurial books because a lot of the information can actually be used for what we're doing as well. So without further ado, my first book that I recommend is How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Digital Age by Dale Carnegie. Okay, this book is absolutely incredible. It was actually written in 1936. It sold over 30 million copies and it's been on multiple like most influential books of all times lists. It's amazing. If you haven't read this, you really, really need to read it. The actual like digital age part didn't come until 2011. So this book is specifically created for people that are trying to kind of get more friendships and, and grow themselves and grow their brand and their community and their influence in the digital age. So that includes things like streaming or social media or just content creation in general. So something that this book would do for you is it's gonna teach you how to express yourself in a way that will make people actually care. It's going to teach you how to be a leader and how to avoid arguments and how to have more productive conversations and relationships with people. It's also gonna teach you how to get people to kind of go along with your way of thinking. So how to, he calls it like win friends or like influence people, but it's really not a manipulative way, right? Like trying to get someone to understand where we're coming from isn't necessarily manipulative. It can be used for good. And if you're a streamer and you're trying to build a community, being a good communicator is so important to you being able to to grow, to you being able to create a space where people feel welcome and comfortable and you being able to communicate exactly why they should be there and how you are a leader to them is, is very important as well. And so that's what this book is going to tell you. What I really picked up from this book is how to be genuinely interested in other people, right? And how important that is to you being someone that they want to come back and see more, that they want to actually talk to more. It's about being a good listener and making other people feel important, not condemning them, not complaining. It's about inspiring other people to feel better about themselves because everyone wants to talk to somebody who makes them feel good about themselves, right? And so it teaches you how to do that and that's how you influence people. People. That's how you win people over and get them to become your friend, is that you actually make them feel like they're a million dollar baby, right? <laughs> It actually talks so much about how to promote good behavior in a community too, which I thought was super intriguing. Like somebody made this in 1936, but it's so relevant for online communities today because it's all about basic human interaction and what people want out of the human experience and out of their interactions with other people. And so yes, highly recommend this one. It's like, I don't know, how much was this? $16. You can get it on Amazon for probably a little bit cheaper. Totally worth it. Everybody that has any interest in business or marketing or online content creation or streaming or whatever in general needs to read this little number. All right, my second book is Never Eat Alone and Other Steps to Success One Relationship at a Time by Keith Ferrazzi. Now this book is absolutely incredible for streamers because it teaches you all about that word that I really hate, which is networking. How to win friends and influence people is more about how to 
experience relationships and how to be inside of them. Never Eat Alone is more about how to get those relationships in the first place and how to nurture them, even if you have hundreds of people and hundreds of other connections that you want to keep. He calls it like keeping them warm, basically. So even if you have hundreds of people that you want to talk to. This book taught me literally everything that I need to know about networking. There's so many great tips inside of it as far as like how to reach out to somebody, um, how to kind of keep talking to people and keep relationships going, how to like make a list of people that you want to consistently check in with. And this really kind of like formed my opinion of networking in general and how just I hate the word networking because it's not about greed, right? Like this book teaches you it's about how much you can give to others and how a successful networker focuses on making other people successful instead of themselves. It's all about how much you can give and not about how much you can take away. It also teaches you how to reach out to these people. So things like doing your research and actually having a plan whenever you maybe go to a convention or if you have like a larger streamer that you want to talk to. It's all about how to approach that person in the way that they want to be approached and to have a relationship with them that goes beyond the bounds of, hey, I'm a content creator, you're a content creator, let's do something together. It makes relationships much more personable and it means that you genuinely care about the community and all of the people inside of it. It's not just networking, right? You're not trying to further your career, you're trying to make friendships and relationships. Keith also talks a lot about finding a mentor. He says, in business, finding a mentor is one of the things that he thinks just everybody needs to do. He says it has been super important for his development and others that he's mentored as well. So definitely check this out. If you've thought at all about like, I need somebody to help me with my stream, I don't know what to do. This teaches you like how to find a good mentor, how to reach out to them, how to have a relationship with them. Um, it also teaches you how to reach out to maybe larger streamers. Maybe you want to partner with somebody, do a collab, work with them somehow. And it also teaches you how to maintain those relationships in a way that's not overwhelming because it can easily and quickly become overwhelming if you're trying to be friends with hundreds of influential people, right? Right now, we're going to talk about my third book, okay? And my third one, I actually don't have because I listened to it as an audiobook on audible.com. That was like my book for my free trial. So check out Audible if you haven't already. And my third book is called Primal Branding. Hang on. Create Zealots for Your Brand, Your Company, and Your Future by Patrick Hanlon. We'll put a copy of it like right here. Wah. So this is an incredible book. This is... Honestly, this, this book blew my mind. This book literally teaches you why people love the brands that they do. So why is everyone obsessed with Oprah? Why do people love Starbucks so much? Why is Nike so popular? And it turns out that after all of this research that Patrick Hanlon put in, he discovered that there are seven things that make extremely successful brands so successful. And after looking at those seven things, I discovered it is the exact same thing that makes larger streamers successful. But these ideas haven't really been like written down before in a concrete way that makes it easy for us to understand them and to apply them to our own streams and communities. So Patrick talks a lot about how creating a brand nowadays in modern times is basically creating a community. It's not about you just put content out there and put it out there and put it out there. It's all about creating a group of people surrounding that content that really love it and enjoy it and go after the same things that you are going after. And it is super inspiring. I've actually made a video about that. I'll make sure to link that like over here because it's super, super important if you guys are interested in learning how to grow a Twitch brand, grow a community, growth in general, which is such a huge part of this process, right? That's such a big part of getting on Twitch, being successful, growing your stream. Like these seven things are all things that you need to have to make that happen. 
So you might be wondering, but what are those seven things, Ashley? I'm going to tell you right now. Those seven things are the creation story, the creed, the rituals, the icons, the non-believers, the sacred words, and the leader. And in that video that I linked up here, you're going to learn all of what those things mean. But I'm going to tell you what I really learned from this book, which is that non-believers are actually super important. So having haters, as people call them, is not actually a bad thing. It helps you define who you are and who you can serve so that you can serve those people better. So whenever you figure out what audience you appeal to, it actually makes your content better and more focused and serves them well in a way that makes you stand out and makes you actually able to succeed and get more people into your community. Because if you're anything like me, I for the longest time was like, I don't want anybody to hate me on here. Like I'm I'm new to Twitch. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I want to I want people to like me and I don't want to be I don't want to be disliked cuz this is, you know, I was kind of a people pleaser and it can be scary too to kind of put your beliefs out there and put who you are out there and a lot of people when they're new to the platform don't have the confidence to be honest about what they believe and who they are. But that's such an important part of the process and even if you have people that don't believe the same things as you, there are other people that do and those are the people that will find you based on where you've been sharing your beliefs and and how passionate you are they'll find you and they'll become passionate about you and your content as well and that's how you build a community you can't just stay in the middle ground about everything you have to have opinions right and it's it's all about don't be sad about having opinions or don't be don't be upset when people dislike you you have to be that person you have to be that leader that is there for your community and will stand up for what is right or what you guys believe in so yes highly recommend picking up all of these books they are so good and so helpful for learning more about content creation in general and i will make sure to leave the affiliate links down below if you guys want to pick these up the links are down below in the description i would get a little kickback from those if you do decide to purchase and just to let you know too like i don't promote stuff unless I truly believe in it. Like I will not try to push any products on you that I don't think you will truly, truly love and that won't be helpful for you. So these books will though, I promise you. <laughs> Let me know your favorite book for content creators down below in the comments. And if you're new here, slap me on the face right below this video for videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday on how you can pursue your dreams and learn to stream. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!